What's up everyone, this is Riley from Nerd Network, and today we're going to tackle the top 10 games that came out at this year's E3 conference. Ah, E3, truly a magical time for gamers. It's essentially Nerd Christmas, where our favorite studios and game devs announce their upcoming projects, and we finally get to get our grubby little fingers all over some titles that we've been waiting years to finally get a hold of. I'm looking at you, Kingdom Hearts 3. Whether you're looking for in-depth coverage on a specific title, or just want to be bombarded with flashy trailers hastily slammed end-to-end, -end, which is usually how I take most of my meals, E3 is always happy to oblige. While it has been a few weeks since the festivities took place, there are still a lot of details still being released about the games that were shown off at the conference. Today we're going to list the top 10 titles we are most excited about seeing. Keep in mind this list is not organized in sequence of importance, as we are equally excited about all of the games on this list. And before we get started, be sure to hit that like button, and be sure to hit subscribe so that you can see all of the new top 10s, gameplays, and other videos that we're uploading to our channel. Number 10, Halo Infinite. We didn't get to see much of the long-awaited follow-up to the generally panned Halo Guardians, but finally, we do get a look at some flashy set pieces and the ubiquitous Spartan helmet of Master Chief. Smartly, 343 Industries is once again putting the face of the franchise at the forefront of this new entry. Though much is still unknown about the title's plot and gameplay, 343 did confirm that the game would be running on a newly developed engine called Slipspace. Other than that, it has been speculated that the game may have an expanded multiplayer with multiple people interacting online during the game's story mode, though this seems unlikely given the renewed focus on the single character that made this series great. As for a release date, we probably won't be seeing Infinite until mid-2019, which means we could be hearing more about this title relatively soon. Number 9, Ghost of Tsushima. Whether you loved or hated the extended flute solo that took place prior to the announcement of this game at Sony's E3 press conference, you can't deny the impressiveness of the trailer and the gameplay that we saw. With incredibly detailed vistas that shows us Japan's feudal era, it can't be denied that this game has an extremely unique setting that gamers will love to explore. Taking control of a single samurai that defends his home from a Mongol invasion, this game looks to have very fluid combat, almost reminiscent of the Arkham games released by Rocksteady. This game seems to have a good amount of stealth play, along with incredible sword combat. Now, while most people are speculating as to when we can take this trip to Japan, it seems more than likely that this game is going to receive a 2019 release, whether it's mid or closer to the holiday season. Number 8, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Despite this being essentially another sequel in the ongoing Party Fighter series, Nintendo still manages to impress by doing a deep dive into their newest Smash Bros. entry during their Nintendo Direct conference. Releasing right around the holidays, and boasting a roster that consists of all previous characters as well as a few new faces, this will be the definitive entry in the franchise. At least, until they release a new one with better graphics and tighter controls. During the announcement, we saw that the game would once again support 8-player combat, and that every single stage is going to have an Omega version, leading to some very intense, very personal battles. While most new characters announced were simply reskins of pre-existing characters in the game, similar to what NetherRealm Studios did with Injustice 2, there were a few truly unique characters that got announced, such as the Metroid villain, Ridley. Be sure to gather up your friends, or your enemies, on December 7th when this game gets released. Number 7, Death Stranding. Everyone has their own thoughts on this one, Though little is known about the plot of Kojima's ambitious new game, we actually did get to see a little bit of gameplay. As we already know, the graphics are gorgeous, and the environment seem expansive and incredibly detailed. This pioneering venture for Kojima's new studio seems to be everything we've come to expect from the most recognizable game designer in the biz. The atmosphere is spooky, but the game holds a cinematic beauty akin to something out of the silver screen. In the gameplay trailer, we did get confirmation that there would be some sort of gun-based combat that would take place but how extensive and how exactly it would work wasn't fully explored. Though details are tight and there's no specific launch date in mind, we personally are excited to get our hands on this PlayStation 4 exclusive. Number 6, Kingdom Hearts 3. Did you ever think there would come a day that we would actually get to play Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, neither did we. And while we still have to hold our collective breath a little bit longer, a lot of information was dumped on us regarding KH3 at this year's E3. This entry in the series once again follows our heroes Sora, Donald, and Goofy as they embark on a journey to find the Guardians of Light, while Mickey and Riku go in search of previous Keyblade warriors. At E3 this year, we get to take a look at the new world of Frozen, as well as the world based on Pirates of the Caribbean, which we have already seen in previous games. Conference goers even had a chance to get their hands on the game. 
While it has been five years since the title was originally announced, we can finally rest easy knowing that it is on track to get an early 2019 release. Number 5. Anthem BioWare's newest IP finally had some gameplay shown off at E3, possibly the only real exciting game given to us by EA at the conference. Anthem is a primarily online action-adventure game in which the player controls a pilot of various exosuits called Javelins. Instead of being locked into one specific class, as is the case with many similar games, Anthem focuses on individually upgrading your Javelins as well as your pilot to increase your collective skill. The game also has a loot system akin to The Division, or Destiny, in which players will be vying for the strongest weapons and armor. There also seems to be a heavy amount of cosmetic tweaks that can be made to your Javelins, allowing you to put your unique spin on your character. Little is known about the plot other than it takes place in a post-apocalyptic setting where the last vestiges of humanity are gathering resources in order to survive. This game drops on February 22nd, 2019. Number 4, Spider-Man. If Rocksteady won't make another kick-ass superhero game, someone else will. This upcoming PlayStation exclusive is developed by Insomniac, who have a very good relationship with Sony, developing both Ratchet and Clank and the PlayStation 3 exclusive launch title, Resistance. This game seems to be more of the former, with a bright comic booky tone that matches the wall crawler's storied escapades. At E3 we got to take a look at some high octane gameplay which pitted the webhead against some criminals attempting to escape the raft supervillain prison. We also got to see some of Spidey's main foes decked out in new gear. The gameplay reveal ended with a hint toward the mysterious villain who has been pulling all the strings. I'm personally banking on it being the kangaroo, but you know. We also got a look at some free roaming city gameplay which made us all feel nostalgic inside due to how much it reminded us of Spider-Man 2, the definitive web-slinging title. Hopefully there will be a pizza delivery mission or two. Spider-Man is looking to swing onto PlayStation 4 September of this year. Number 3, Fallout 76. When Bethesda teased the newest Fallout title prior to E3, the internet entered rampant speculation mode. It turns out that most of what was gleaned from the short, vault-heavy trailer was actually accurate, as many people were led to believe that Fallout 76 would incorporate an online multiplayer element and that the gameplay would take a large focus on the divisive, settlement-building mechanic that was introduced in Fallout 4. While most people see this as a departure from the traditional Fallout style of game, there have actually been a few entries that took the franchise into a different direction, none of which were as close to the main series of games as this one seems to be. Engine-wise, it looks similar enough to Fallout 4 in the same way that New Vegas used the same engine and many of the assets from Fallout 3. While the game itself is always online, Todd Howard assures fans at Bethesda's conference that the entire game can be played solo. This game, which takes place in West Virginia, introduces new enemies, environments, and gameplay mechanics and is chronologically the first Fallout game, if you don't count the introduction of Fallout 4 that is. There are still many questions long-term fans of the series have regarding 76, but those will no doubt be answered very soon, as most of the game is already complete. Fallout 76 is slated for a November release with beta access earlier this year for anyone who pre-orders the game. Living in a post-nuclear wasteland can be tough, but with a few friends, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. Number 2, Cyberpunk 2077. One game that took many people by surprise this E3 was the newest title in development from CD Projekt Red, the people behind the Witcher franchise. With a flashy trailer that showed off a lot of the world of this futuristic first-person action adventure, the game looks to be handled with the scope and attention to detail that made the Witcher franchise so successful. The gameplay that was shown outside of the conference displayed an open world and the branching paths that can lead our protagonist to completing missions in a variety of ways. This truly seems like an extremely content-heavy game with an engaging world and seems to open for a plethora of playstyles. Whether you're a stealthy assassin, a smooth talker, or somebody who likes to run in and just shoot everything up, this seems to be a game that'll allow you to do all that and more. There is still some time before more details are revealed about Cyberpunk, and a release date is currently TBA. However, we are hoping that we'll see a lot more from this game in coming months. Number 1, The Last of Us Part 2 How do you follow up an extremely well-received console exclusive that had amazingly detailed graphics, a compelling story, and equal parts frantic combat and nerve-wracking sneaking? Well, Naughty Dog plans to show us with their sequel to The Last of Us. The story picks up with Ellie, who seems to still be narrowly avoiding scavengers and monsters, but this time as an extremely competent fighter and tactician. In the gameplay reveal, we saw Ellie move seamlessly around the environment, using her wits to take down a group of attackers who were much better armed than she was. The graphics once again look stunning with environmental cues to use the area to your advantage, as well as what looks like an incredibly seamless, 
control system that keeps you moving while dodging bullets, arrows, and bodies. The developers still say that they're in very early stages of development, so we may have to wait a little bit longer before getting our hands on this one, but definitely plan on checking this one out when it drops. So that's our list. Did you agree with our picks, or were there a couple of titles from this year's E3 that you're more stoked about? Leave us a comment and remember to like and subscribe for more news, gameplays, and top 10s. Thanks again for supporting what we do at Nerd Network, and we'll catch you next time.